The Irish wolf dog breed is the tallest of all dogs. The large, rough-coated Irish wolf dog stands on its toes and not on pads of its feet. It is a very old breed with a long history in Ireland. The breed was originally developed to hunt wolves, which they did by sight rather than scent. Although the breed participated in many canine activities throughout history, it became nearly extinct around the middle of the 19th century. Hello guys, it's your favorite smart dog lover. Keep watching so you discover the top 12 things only owners of the Irish Wolfhound dog understand, including why they're so tall, more laid back, and why they are expensive. Please don't forget to hit like if you haven't already. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications for more contents like this that will help you know your dog better. Let's go! Number 12. They got some speed. Irish Wolfhound dog breeds possess great speed, size, strength, and courage. They are tall dogs with very long strides. It can stand as tall as 34 inches at the shoulders. The Wolfhound can reach 35 miles per hour for very short distances. The Wolfhound is an intensely loyal and intelligent breed that generally does not do well with children or other dogs. Number 11. Height over size. The average weight of this dog is approximately 120 pounds or 54 kilograms and the average height is approximately 32 inches or 81 centimeters. This makes Irish Wolfhound dogs one of the tallest dog breeds. However, it is not the heaviest breed of dog. The Great Dane is considered to be the heaviest breed of dog. Number 10. Special Coat it has a long muzzle, large bone structure, and a wiry coat that comes in many different colors. This canine requires little coat care except for regular brushing and combing. However, excessive baiting can remove natural oils from their coats which can lead to dryness and irritation. Wolfhounds ought not to be left outside in a warm climate because of their short nose and long hair coat. They likewise can't swim because of their body shape and absence of captivity to pedal their legs appropriately in water. Number 9. Gentle Giant The Irish Wolfhound Dog is a gentle breed. They are very intelligent and easy to train. They have a bouncy, playful nature. Irish Wolfhounds are gentle with children, though their size make them unsuitable for very young kids. It is a unique breed. Although he looks like a rough and tumble dog, the wolfhound is actually very gentle and affectionate. They are known to be very friendly with strangers, but they are loyal and devoted to those they know. Number 8. They are also strong-willed. Its dignity bellies his size and power. Many say it is because it was originally bred as war dogs. He is a softy at heart, though he can be willful at times. The best way to deal with this is to give your dog plenty of praise and attention, especially when training him. If you do not spend time with your Irish Wolfhound dog, he will become hyperactive or even aggressive. Irish Wolfhounds are very intelligent and learn quickly as long as you stay involved in his training process. It is not recommended that you ever use harsh discipline on your hound because he will lose respect for you and become even more stubborn. Number 7. Expensive Breed This dog is an expensive breed. We don't mean that you have to pay a high price for them, although you do. If you have one, you will probably spend a lot of money on it. The food bill alone can be several hundred dollars a month. What we mean is that they will cost you a fortune in a single year alone. This dog is the largest of all dogs, and this one can eat you out of your house and home. The Irish Wolfhound dog was bred to hunt wolves in the past, but their main purpose today is as a show dog. Still, I recommend that everyone get an Irish Wolfhound. They have a noble bearing, and it's an honor to walk with them. Number six, health problems. The Irish Wolfhound as a giant dog comes with some predispositions for medical problems. For example, they are more prone to develop arthritis, especially in the elbow and shoulder joints. If it has a growth spurt in puppyhood, that could lead to hip dysplasia later on. 
Some of these dogs suffer from a genetic disease known as gastric torsion, also known as bloat, which is a life-threatening condition that requires immediate medical attention. A common sight among these dogs is heartworms. It is important that your pup is vaccinated against this parasite and that you continue to administer preventative medication every month. The lifespan of this breed ranges from six to eight years, but this can be extended when proper care is given. Number five, wolfhounds don't like anesthetics. They are sensitive to some of the anesthetic agents most commonly used in veterinary practices. It is important to tell your veterinarian that your pet is a wolfhound before any procedure requiring anesthesia. They are one of the first breeds to die when put under anesthesia. Some vets will not even perform surgery on Irish wolfhounds because of his sensitivity. However, some have had success with reducing the amount of anesthesia used and then slowly increasing it as needed for surgery. Number four, more fences. Irish wolfhound dog owners are responsible for ensuring that their dogs are not allowed to roam unsupervised. This is an important point, which is sometimes overlooked. And fencing is a very important issue that you need to consider before choosing your new family pet. If you do decide to get a wolfhound, it is important to know how much fencing will be required. This will depend on the breed of dog that you choose, as well as the size of your yard or property. You should check with the breeder before you decide on the type of fencing that you want. Number three, short lifespan. The Irish Wolfhound has a much shorter lifespan than most other breeds, with an average of six to eight years, although some have lived as long as 11 years. This is considered very short in human terms, but it is actually a long lifespan for a giant breed dog. The reason why they have such short life expectancy is that they have a very fast growth rate and their bodies have not evolved to handle that much weight and size at such a young age. As the tallest breed of dog, this is often attributed to their size and weight. But recent studies have suggested that the breed is more likely to die from cardiovascular disease than many other breeds. Number two, they love chasing. They are very large, active dogs that can be prone to chasing. If you have one, please consider placing your dog in a fenced yard. It is not safe for the dog or community at large to let your dog off the leash. If you already have an Irish Wolfhound, you should train it to stay on the leash when walking. This will help it from chasing other people and animals. You do not want a dog running after someone else's pet as this can cause serious injury to the victim and or the wolfhound. When training this wolfhound, it is important to remember that they are working dogs by nature. It is important to take them out for a walk at least twice a day, preferably three times per day. Number one, they grow fast. As puppies, Irish wolfhounds grow extremely fast. They're manageable in this process too. However, when they become adult dogs, they can be very tough to handle. They need a lot of exercise and space. During the first six months, they will be able to reach up to 45 pounds in weight and at 10 months old, they can weigh up to 90 pounds. When fully grown from 12 months on, Male Irish Wolfhounds can weigh anywhere from 120 pounds to 108 pounds. If you like this video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and leave a comment telling us your best experiences with an Irish Wolfhound. Before we go, do make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any dog-related content from us. That's all folks on today's show. Goodbye for now.